Welcome to another episode of Talk, Totally Accepting Life Skill. I am your host, The Chico. On this program, we share the journey of a multiplicity of persons from all sectors, strata, race, and professions. Today, we are speaking with Mario Bent. Mario came to my attention through a friend, and his journey is one that I had to get him to share. Let's talk with Mario. Mario, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for being here. Mario, first question I need to ask. Where are you from? And why is it so hard to find you, Mario? <laughs> where are you from? Well, um, I'm originally, originally born in Montego, you know? I grew up in Portland. In Portland? Yes. So you're not Portland, Mario. Well, you are add up, you're add up, add up. Portland. Yes. <laughs> If you're not born a Portino Maria, you are not a Portlander, but yeah. welcome you anyway. Yeah, right. Okay, so you were born in Montego Bay. Bay yeah. All right, so what led you to Portland? All right, uh, my, my mother went to Kingston with me uh, and another uh, sister, you know, from uh, a baby. Mm -hmm. And then something occurs at home in Greenwich Town in Kingston. When, the, when my mother went away, leave us at in our house with, with our auntie, you know? auntie um, called police uh, uh, and the police and carry our children's home so from the children's home now. What happened at the house that led to the your auntie calling the police? Police because she and my but she was saying that my mother couldn't um take care of us because she never had enough of her, you know. So she, she met the police and carrying our children's home. You know? So maybe they are the children's room at the, at the Maxwell Park children's room now. Mm -hmm. And then they get transferred to in the, uh, 2008. They get transferred to Portland, from a Portland now around 12 years old. So when they came to Portland, you were transferred from one, Maxfield. from Maxfield to, to Merton to Merton Penn. Yeah. To Merton Penn, boys' home. Yes. Okay. All right. So, what was your experience like in the in the boys' home at boys in the boys' home in, in Portland? Well, my experience in the boys' home at Portland, it was a good and a bad experience at the same time. Because sometimes it good, sometimes it bad. What makes it bad sometimes? What makes it bad sometimes? <laughs> it it's a it's a place where young uh, another person can easily kick off at any time and uh, get in a fight. And the first thing they would say uh, is call the police. Uh. Call the police. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what yeah. made, what was your most memorable 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 it, moment at the boys' home? At the boys' home, all right. My memorable moment at the boys' home was this particular day when Tivoli Incursion was active in Kingston. At the same time, we were doing some some um, well, what they call it. Um, Labor Day work. Okay. Yeah, You're in a Labor Day project where? Yeah. At the boys' home? Yeah, that was a special day. Yeah. Okay. And all the people from all over the, 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 the island, they come and take part in it. And so police nice. and all different type of carrier workers, you know? Nice. Nice. So, so from the boys' home, what happened? All right. So, while well, in the boys' home, in 11th grade now, while attending, attending Fairpass at high school, mm -hmm. I went get into some trouble where this lady before you go there mario mm. didn't mean to cut you off so while at the boys home you leave from the home to school because once you're at the home you have yes. to be enrolled in school correct yes all right so you leave from the boys home to school daily yes. and back and back all right so you went to fair prospect eh? yeah okay i went to fair at, at lowest time mm -hmm. and this part kali wake up to go to school and i can remember i went for breakfast mm -hmm. but it, it never i'm smooth at the end because I didn't get, I was taking up a plate, but the lady didn't want me to take up that particular, particular plate. And the, a lady that works there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She like, she put on that one, she, 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 I never had a good still, yeah, but at the end of the day, leave. You're you know, offended that she box the food out there, and yeah. so to speak. Yeah, and then you lead down the line with them. I also end up, said that 
I box them and them something, so it end up to you know, the police and then one night I go to sleep. It's part of the time police come to me and I sleep. Can't forget that. At the boys' home? Yeah. I remember by my run off the police them the jump on the gun guy police. Jump. So the police come for Maria, you just start run. Yeah, because <laughs> the light my face. You and knew they were coming for you? Knew they were coming because I was alerted about them before they come. Oh, smiley prips you. Yeah, so <laughs> instead of just sleep that damn much, you I sleep on the brand of me to jump off I wall and got. So then my wife knows the police are come whenever just pack up and leave, then instead of when the police come for you. <laughs> True, uh, we never really have the, the society expenditure yet. Really, so true, we did work now. The okay. Facility, so never okay. really have the expenditure there. At, at what age did you, what, at what age were you first placed in the boys' home at Maxfield? Uh, but, you know, really, I can't remember. I was my baby. Oh. But I say sometime at ESG, R2, from my young baby. Oh, two system. to three, yeah. two to three years yeah. old. Yes. So you grew up in the system. In the system, yes. All right. So Muritan Pen, I, I think the name has, I think the name is changed now. Muritan Child Care Facility. What's the name of it? Muritan Child Care Facility. Muritan Child Care, Child Care Facility. Facility. Yes, yeah. I knew they changed the name. All right. So you, that was your final home of safety. Yeah. That was the final home final. that your government facility that you were in. Yeah. All right. So after you left there, what happened? Where were you living? All right. I was in jail now because they take me to court now and for the same incident at the boys' home. Yes, miss. And then I was sent to Metcalf Street in Kingston. That's the a juvenile woman center in Kingston. Okay. Metcalf Street. They take the bad juvenile man and juvenile man with my problem. Blah. And um, there's some to me on my side on the side. Okay. What was you like in school? Did you like school? School? Yes. You well, went to Fair yes, Was yes. Fair Prospect the first school you ever attended? No. You went through a primary school? Yeah, we so primary we attended so primary school in Kingston. Okay. And then we moved from this and attend Medwood's primary and junior high school. Okay. And then from the transfer took place from Kingston to Portland now. We do the um exam and that attend fair price for high school. What was school like for you? Very, very good car. Uh, meet a lot of new friends and so to this day me and them are still new friends. So nice. maybe we never got school we would have so much fun and right, we would right. so be new and be safe right now car <laughs> you know? Right. Would have been stranger to everybody. Right. Like certain people never know. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with it? your parents are still alive? No, my mother is dead and I don't know my father. Is. Your mom passed? Yeah. and you don't know your father. Your mom passed while you were in the boys' home or is it recent? No, it was while I was at Maxfield, but they didn't tell me. Oh. That's from 2005, my mother did. And when they transferred me, it was 2008, so that would be five, six, seven years, four years after my mother did. So how did you feel about that, Mary? How did you yeah. find out that she passed? All right, how I passed on is, uh, is um, what would I say? When my final said she passed on it, I'd be like 15 years from that now. Right? You found no. out that your mother passed 15 years no, after no, she passed? No. Let me Sorry. guess. Sorry, mm -hmm. mistake. Not 15 years. Around 5 years from that, 2010, same time after the Tivoli incursion, right, right. I see the um, assistant assist me by taking me to Kingston uh, vehicle to look for the family in Greenwich Farm. Oh, to take you back to look for your family members? Yeah, because okay. I never know them either. And I know I, I, that, I, I never know a cousin or anything. Right. And when I go there, I start to see a lot of cousins and auntie and them took me out. And them, it's them tell me, so you did, because when we go at the yard, they never exactly tell me as we come. We couldn't know, because I just asked them, ask them, like, I feel, I don't hear them talk about her, I don't know about her. So I said, I'm to my mother. I don't know about her. They said, she did. And some of them find out. Like, they want to hide it. The government, both the government and the family. Do you have any memories of your mom? Yeah, man. Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. well, like, well, in the boys' yeah, home, no, she used to visit? Home. In the children's home? Yeah, well, she used to yeah. visit you? Yeah, regularly. Regularly? Yeah. Okay, so she never just leave you up alone no, in the like, system? She can't bag of teeth to me, jelly water, snacks, all kind of stuff, man. I'm sure they're going to bore them and them. Right, so, right. The only thing was, she was ill, because she always had to me, say, my father, when she why she run away with us from her father and cause this happened to her, I told my father beat her, so it make sure get ill too. 
she was abused by your yeah. father. Yeah, and he was a wicked police, she said. A wicked, wicked he was police, a police man. Yeah, you know, police wicked enough. Because she said sometimes I'll go and take out and fire shot in the air. When they don't, when she don't turn herself. Yeah. Fruits and them something, them kick over her style and them something, fire shot in the air. And, and, and she don't tell the line because she's a Christian woman and mm -hmm. she pray a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you witnessed yeah. any of that abuse in the household when you were with your mother? I could remember because... Well, you were a child, you were a baby yeah. basically. Yes, yeah, so right. I could recall. And you don't know your father? No. You don't know your father? You hear any stories about him? No, mm, nothing. nothing. Nothing about him? No. Okay, so you do have fun memories of your mother? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm sure. That's good. When I say that, it's like your face, you just get bright. Yeah, like man. you miss your mother. Yeah. Nice. Um, I know you do a little writing and you do music because you love music. When yes. I met you, that was one of the things that you were passionate about. I said that again and your face just light up. So yes. tell me a little bit <laughs> about your music. Alright. My music now is when well, I get to love music now is when we got American and the, this keyboard was did come up there and then me was the first boy that everybody would, would catch, on, catch on on the fast plate. Oh. Yeah, so I saw, we started love music now, I started learning to play keyboard. I write my first song in 2009. What was you know, that song about? It was basically about like the youth them in the street that don't have anything to do and they might be find wrongdoings to do for get caught up with the police and stuff them. I be a lot down them life and them something there. And from a young and a tender age, you know? So you Is play the piano, yes. you write, yes. and I heard that you like the producing part of it as well. Yeah, because so I could create more melody and rhythms and so. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice, nice. All right, Mario, we'll continue talking to Mario. Please don't go anywhere. Join us. We'll be right back. Care Center offers residential and non-residential geriatric and recuperative care. We're focused on improving and maintaining the health and wellness of our clients. Registered with the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we're located at 130 Moonlight Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, Portland, Jamaica, West Indies. Our settings are salubrious with well-trained staff and attention to details. Contact us at 876-913-3247 and 876-368-1493. Email us at bloomcarecenter at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Let us help you care for those you care for. So I know school had some impact on you and how does that help with your music? Yes, it helps a lot because when, when I can create my own song, by just writing my own song I, I make it sound good so people want to hear it, yeah, that is a very good one, right? Yeah. So, can read and write uh, uh, means a lot to me because it would make, really make no sense. Me have the music now and can read and write because I would create my own music and so. Makes sense. Makes sense. You'd have to Think about it in your head and then have a friend who can read, yeah. write it down for you. But then how are you going to read it? Going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, like. Let me go back to you being in the boys' home. How has that shaped you, Mario? How has that, how has that experience shaped your life? All right. It, 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 it shapes my life in many different ways. And as I said from first, 
it's a good and a bad place because I have many youths still who go through the, the same system and them there at a different level from me because for them disciplinary is different from mine at the same time. When me would get ignorance easily, maybe them would have them would get so ignorant so easy. So somebody might see them and take them up as a stepping stone to, to move forward when somebody could have seen me at the same time too. So, not because they eh, have an ignorant problem or any me say if it, dash one side or hide me or right, fling me right. across so and make them want to go so and me to go so. No right. man, you right. take me and elevate me to and say me and good with me desire more than them because when they have them mother and them father, I don't have nobody. Didn't have so if you have a, when you have peace, you have to dash me out and fling me to go so you know. If you have a member say who me have, that means say anything you have say anything to happen to me, can happen to me. That means say you don't really care about me, you don't really So I don't really get no, no good feedback from from, from, from that, other people. Yeah, and, and from that place. Mm -hmm. Now none of them work there. But when we, when we always cherish the most about that place is the memories and the youth when we used to live along with there because I remember, you know, while we were there we have to live like brother and so right, look over right. one another and then the fact of the matter is maybe and I staff may catch up and she might call police fire and make you feel down and feel like everything over for you. But they have some loyal youth. Where some are all right. You was like Ziga, Ziga the university in uh, uh, um, America now. Because Ziga was a youth, you know, a good artist, you know. Nice. Ziga is the right him sang them and, nice, and promoting. Nice. Yeah. You're still in touch with him? Yeah, on Facebook. On Facebook. Yes. Sir. Nice. And I'm going to go on good because right now I'm start right R and B and hip hop and them something so I get big. Man. And he grew up in the, the boys, boys home, home as so, well. Yeah man. So when we pray about them something still, I say everything really happened for Harry still. Mm -hmm. So I don't really hate them are kind of freedom. I still love them and I know it can be somewhere in life, I still donate back to them and know right. where this one has come from, you know? Yeah, what what still, caused you to, you said you get ignorant. What caused you to get ignorant so easily? So easily. All right. So when I go in places like those, it makes you ignorant. It would be like you're in a, a, a social camp or a police station. Wow. A lot of all the men you see, you know, there's no woman, you don't really I don't know how fish. With, uh, with a, you don't know, socialize with a sister. Who will socialize with our brother. Sometimes they can get caught up as possible that someone have to be by yourself. And them think they're only part thing. You know, and so. the staff there didn't show you any love? Sometimes. Sometimes. But the staff them there move. Instead of them move like appearance towards us, they move treat her like a water. You know, a water okay. working in a prison. Right, right. They move, move like we did. Right. Like, yeah, like so. You know what I mean? But, I don't know if I told them to me, to me to the situation I pay, I pay so it's a place to care for you, so in need of. But when me when me see the old the staff members them operate themselves, sometimes even certain of the boys them, sometimes it make you feel like you're in a jail. Yes. Yeah, it make you feel like the whole thing you're free, you know, but you feel like you're in a jail same way because the system how, how they make you live and so the experience who me the right us right now. I have to give thanks and praise, pass through them experiences, because it's not easy. I go through them experiences there right now, and you see the, that journey when I reach you now, when I dash me, so I the hardest one, and I'm glad to meet people like home who can help me, you know, and I can be alive today to share with me, and uh, 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 share my experience with me, you understand this? All right, Mario, I know that you were in custody recently. Yeah. You were right. in, you were in lockup in Port Antonio, and then you were transferred to GP? Yes. What what caused you to what happened? Why were you All right. incarcerated? I don't know. I let me tell you. The reason why being being in the street you have a lot of people. Especially in a country like this, Jamaica, you have a lot of differentiated people. You have good people, you have bad people. It's when you come to the you street. Have that all over the world, eh? Yeah, you must <laughs> see all right. If any never see certain people in Merton or Maxfield. You're going to see them in the street. You know, you're going to face them on the street. Right. You might see them at school because school now, people come from our own society and come at school. So you get certain of the attitudes and certain of the behavior when you are going on the street. So you notify know, them. So when you see them start to play, you, know, you, know, you kind of know what to do. All right. That's how me kind of get in a problem by a man attacking me in the night and I have to defend myself. You know? What do you mean, he attack you? He attack me with a knife. 
Oh, okay. I with an eye because no one was there, so maybe the man feel like say, he could attack me at that quiet spot where nobody, he feel like nobody would not see him or he could have done something. But because of the help of God, he turned on my favor. He knew me there so much, he would have killed me the night, but I'm still going to kill him the same night. But I report to the police station, get a doctor report, do the right thing that they say I'm supposed to do. So he has, you said you didn't kill him the same night? No. He has, you, you know him, you yeah. knew him? Yes. Yeah. So he has, Yes, like attacked you thing. before? Has he attacked you before? No, that was the first time he attacked me. But from me, from he attacked me that time, he starts sending me a chat and then he attacked me again. After that, after I attacked You and him have some sort of no, friction? The so man, the man, what happened? The man seems to be like a person who go out in the street and, and look for young boys and girls to rape them. A person like that, he, he waits till he junk off himself. I wait till he, 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 he's he, a big man or a youth like you. Well, youth like you. Twenty-nine. You don't call a person to a twenty-nine year old. Oh, okay. Big man. Youth, young, young youth. Young youth. Twenty-nine. Young enough. Yeah, young. Mm -hmm. So. So what happened on the day he I was right. murdered? No, I'm gonna tell you before the day he was murdered. Okay. He attacked me again and beat me with an iron chain. We put it again. Use an iron chain. A, a, a heavy iron chain. I couldn't believe it. You know, man beat me. I bend up and can't walk. I said, I reach up at the hospital. The doctor didn't tell me, the nurse didn't tell me, no doctor now up at the hospital. So I said, alright, can I borrow one of the bed in the emergency room to, to rest on? Because I'm in pain. The nurse said, no, you can't sleep because the doctor has to give you instructions. So I said, alright, can I use the bench outside that's waiting to get on? The man said, yeah, you can't have your feet to go up on the bench. I'm going to lay down on the bench and bear the pain until the morning. So you didn't see a doctor that night? No. And it, Unfortunately, and then when I wake up in the morning, I say, and I wait, and I say, Doctor, no, doctor sent me to the police station to get a, a police to make a report and to bring so some that would have been the second sign. time that you would have reported into the police, yes, yes. Okay, so when I do that now, and I get the farm from the police station and take it back to the doctor, he say I won't get back the farm, but the farm then we get it back, but the police will get it, yes, okay. So in, in, in collect the prescription for the man, continue my journey, you know? All right. Where were you living then? All right, I was living in a, at a place where I particularly be yes. now in the market lane, where my father have some rooms where he would do businesses, etc. Well, hold on, Mario, because they yes. say you don't have any father, you know? So let's say where your father have some no. rooms. Which father is that? All right, this is like a, a man now, I would take as a father oh, now. Right. I would just call him. Father, daddy, right, and right. so and we accept the person, yeah. And help me out now the way you can, you know. Mm -hmm. This was the same man who bailed me on the case and he returns him back the bail ban on me. And I still go back and go back where this man is. Alright. So let us you know? continue from what happened and then we go back there. Mm -hmm. So after you were seen by the doctor, what mm -hmm. happened? Alright. I I I I head back to my journey back into the into Port Antonio Street mm -hmm. and showing the people and my friends what had happened to my back and all about and right. showing them the wheels and the mark and mm -hmm. you know. So you didn't fight back Mario? He attacked you? No. What happened? When he attacked me, I did have to run for my life. Okay. Just that me have to run for my life. Right. Cause I remember when we reached up at the police station, the policeman had said me to go back down the stairs. And I couldn't believe it. I could that, that policeman I couldn't believe it and I cannot forget it. Because she if he was a police officer. It's supposed to be doing what it takes for you to be a police officer. You're not supposed to be a police officer. Serve and protect, eh? Yeah. And you yeah, have yeah, the corruption at the same time. Eh? That means that uh, you know, I call the police then and then where so it's like you have to say, oh, I'm going to kill him, man. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. You have to say, I'm going to kill him. And that time I say, you know, I hate me, you know, you know, can't do it. It's a woman. You have to go up there with them and the woman said, oh, you say you're running from up here and the woman said, yeah. So the woman said, where are you marry from up here? You say marry to, to, in a, in a street too much and everything. So the woman said, you can't say that. Marry is a youth to us and sell every day for people. Regardless, they should take the reports. Himself. Yeah, regardless, the woman said, the woman said, I expect to say, I was a lie. I'm not telling you, you couldn't be this or this. Yeah, I try, and now she said, oh, all right, let me get the patrol and send him up to the hospital. Slackness. So them things that ride my mind, you know? Alright, 
Forgive him, Camilla. Forgive, forgive him, person. Camilla, as I say, believe na God no. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, me end up. I tell you, me end up start sell back and me never get to buy no medication and all. But me have this lady me did like so much. I should buy my medication and I start taking them You like her so much like a girlfriend or no, she just like help you? like a friend. She always help me okay. like me. Okay. Yeah, she, and she woke up, at, up by the hospital because she always the man I want him for me. I think no, because I always the man to want him because I don't want the man to know where. Right. The man always I text me and people come to me and say the man I text me. I don't look at okay. children too. And then with that child pull up. I don't look at children and then with that put knife on them neck and, and all kind of stuff. So, the very first thing you come like, God did not want me to brush that man. If you do a mood if you good about the situation, see me. But I was selling one day on William Street and this is the third attack. You know the man do this? The man was drinking some rum and I was passing the man. Me and two other females and a speed power. Two, two, two. Just a speed power. Man speed power. And I say, all right. Like that, like and that. you and the two other young ladies that you were walking with? Yeah, and then back off and just say, what can I stop this? You see me? I say, the man they come and call me, they want to take it over. Because mm -hmm. the man they say, what can I stop this? Right. I mean, I tell you, so, I mean, be tough, man. When you catch him, you can't take something and sack him. You're afraid of him. So I tell him, no, I'm not afraid of him. So anyway, miss, went to the police station and I saw the same policeman. Yeah, and the policeman would tell me, say, I'm busy. You can't take the report right now because they man go for that more. And some MP and thing, I come to the place and I'm like, on the street and something. So the circling back, look more, and look more and patrol and go catch him. So I realized, say, oh, them are. The man use them, them not take it serious. And maybe when we find out, we pick up so them to them my friend and them have understanding. So look at All right, Mario, this. let us pause here for a minute. Hold on. Hold your thoughts. Yeah. We are going for a break. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. When we come back, we'll pick up from where we left off. Home Care Center offers residential and non-residential geriatric and recuperative care. We're focused on improving and maintaining the health and wellness of our clients. Registered with the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we're located at 130 Moonlight Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, Portland, Jamaica, West Indies. Our settings are salubrious with well-trained staff and attention to details. Contact us at 876-913-3247 and 876-368-1493. Email us at bloomcarecenter at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Let us help you care for those you care for. Mario Ben's Mario is sharing his experience, his story with us. Let's continue. So, alright. When this particular day on the fourth of March 2019, I was doing some business work. I was doing some business where I was selling some vegetable. Mm -hmm. When I was selling the market, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right and, and, and in the town right around. Lamp Street and around. And this man came into my in, into the market where I was assisting this lady who I also sell for her. You know? Mm -hmm. And this man gave me eye contact and tell me that watch me later. And I was like, yeah. When he gave me eye contact and tell me that watch me later, I was like start worrying and fretting, you know. Sitting down and start to do a dream and I wonder what but this man will come back to me again. But Mario, it, it, it you, like you, enough enough you, 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 have, you have tried to escape him so many times, so many and times. you reported him over. Reported him over, and right, the police over and over. Catch him. And then the man start walking at the lane and start checking me and plus 
people come to me and I tell me say him tell them say yo me for watch myself and them something like, because any time he want me why why my do me I'm a man I'm a man so I right, miss me just start continue to do my business and sell same and avoid the worry and so you know and I was entering on William Street at about three o'clock in the afternoon and this man attacked me this man attacked me yeah when he thought that I would have run, I didn't run. I'm attacking with again. A and knife I, and okay. Yeah. And I defend myself and, and, and stab him one time. Because he was trying to jump with his knife that he has on him. You had a knife as well? Yeah, I had a knife as well. He had a knife on him as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was trying to so stab me and I stabbed him first. Where where did that happen? Uh, on William on Street. Street. Yes. And you said broad daylight. Everybody was there. People were there. No really, no, 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 okay. no, no, it was a day like, no, Okay. people is alive, but you're not seeing them right, at right. the time. Yeah. So what happened, you stabbed him, you said once, once. he fell on the ground, yeah. people caught, no, what happened? I didn't see him fail, when I stabbed him once, I got frightened and run, Okay. because I didn't, I didn't want to see what was happening, because I didn't have any experience in doing this, I was, was trying to help myself by defending my life, you know, mm -hmm. so this man, Preventing this man from coming later to kill me or anything because my proven parents say my killer to me already. So you stab him, yeah. you run, what yes. happened? All right, what happened I run, next? Police right. came for you? No. You heard that he died and police no. came? I went into market back to my people. I let them know of what happened mm -hmm. and they informed me that I should inform myself to the police, get to the police when some people was telling that I should run away. But I was man enough. Uh, 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 oh, you walked to the police. You went to the police yeah, station. Yeah. Told them what happened. Yes. yes. I turned myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, I turned myself. I, um, they locked me up. I spent around nine the angel. And I was built by this man, no, Mr. Margaret, who I called daddy. Who I take my father, why I'm at this place in the market. Mm -hmm. same, same way. And he bailed me. While I was out there, me and that man, Never get along really. We don't know why, but he's that kind of miserable man. Now, so, good man, but he's miserable and ignorant. So, okay. the Friday this Sunday, police car was on my way to the Bikini Beach when police pulled on me at tax office and asked me to declare what I have found me. And I declared that I had a knife on me, you know. And the police said, so I was like to the police officer, like, Can you give me a chance? And he would, would have been like, So, what a charge? Why a charge? Why are you which case have you put now? Murder. I say, all right, what is the nature of the murder? What kind of case of murder case? I'm a knife, I'm a right. That's why. Right. I say, I say, find this on the police, say, come at me, I would spend a long time in jail, because the policeman tell me, I would spend a long time in jail, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> so they yes. pick up, say, oh, they will ride me, you see? I'm Mario, how that make you feel? Like, oh well, my, my entire life now. Tell the truth. It's you gone. You know, I feel good, because it's long, because I'm a friend of I love so much. Yes. Because my people, I just meet them, and because of that, I don't come back out come see them all now. I don't know if I'm alright. So, is that, is that a good experience? Because you're going to have a place like them there. It's like you're going to have a gym. You never wake until you come out. Right, right. So, you know, it comes like you wait all the time. But give that give time for that time, you know, it could have been longer, you know? Yes. Just 14 months. 14 months. So, you yeah. spent 14 months yeah. between Port Antonio yes. and GP. And GP. Yes. What was that experience life at GP? Alright very rough experience life. It is at sunny, dry. If we could not tell you the type of life, it, it is different from in the, when you're out of road in society in freedom. It's, it, it's a different look. Even when you're in a GP and them, them have woolly pack pretty flowers, they still have a different look. The sun shines different. So it's a different mode of place. A different, totally different feeling. Totally feel. different feeling. The energy, spiritually and physically, different man. So you didn't get in trouble with, no. with anyone there? Which I'm so. very risk because if I would get in trouble, it would be, uh, uh, maybe I wouldn't be here now. I would be in another, today. yeah, I would be in more trouble. I've never had to in more trouble because this case is a C, it was a serious case. Right. And I, I, um, I pray that it was serious, so, you know, I overcome. Instead, I would put myself in more trouble. You get smart and overcome. I would put myself in more trouble. A lot of times, people, some man, I'm in the war and them something because I have to defend myself because they are a warrior. 
Maybe a man has seen something you like and him can't get it too because them mm -hmm. places are different. It's not like when you're out of the road. Right. That's how a man has worried about all the time just come up. He has worried about him hungry and he's just ready. Right. See you see something you want and him can't get it and that's what I'm worried about. So it's a dangerous place today. So what happened, Mario? You went to court, you had an attorney or you had legal aid, I don't know. No, I have an attorney. You had an attorney. Nicholas Chambers in the assistant of Oh. Nicholas Jacob, no, John Jacobs. Okay, so there are two attorneys. Yes. All right, so you went to court and judge said that you were acquitted and you go home. What happened? How All was right, that? the judge said I was not guilty and I was free to go because the prosecution found me not guilty and I was so oh. good. I, I give them a, a return in telling them that God bless them all and leave the court. Yeah. Folks, you've heard it. Mario. What a story. Mario, before we go, we have to wrap up now, but before we go, yeah. what would you say, Mario, what advice would you give to young men who have been in the system, who feels like sometimes giving up, no one cares for them? What would you say to them? All right. What we say to them is try to take the time out now in this time to, to love the nature more, love the, the animals around you, the, 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 the the people, the birds, the flowers, the, the trees. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted because when you go to places like where I go, that's where you know that <laughs> this is a really Mario, heaven. I've never been there and <laughs> I don't ever want to be. Yeah. I love my freedom. Yeah. It is hot so I can just imagine what those people, what you have went, have been through. And you can't get a, a cold juice a drink. You can't say no. You can't no, have no, the money. No. <laughs> so so while in there you could if you have money you can ask what the warders to get you something yeah so and they go and buy it and come yeah. back with it where are you you just give it the money and you go yourself go and buy it mario you're yeah, then a prison and you can walk out the road go buy a drink and come back no oh so they break have, it down <laughs> it's locked down 24 hours seven so them lock them up rise them up eat very fast do this them lock them down again after rise again a particular time to right. do some more to go beer, to go beer and do whatever you do. But a short half an hour time, lock down again. So you don't you know, really get no time. As a straight lock down, you get. So it's rough, wicked. Yeah, wicked, right. wicked. They're not gonna rise. But one of them can step on them face, do them anything behind the scenes at the wall, because the, the society now know how to go on. Them. It's like them treat you, them, you know, they, like they're not gonna rise. The least thing them do. Brrrr. They just mash them up, cow. I saw them have to leave them because a bad man, them a, a wicked man, them can't. I said, them to get wicked in there. Them can't, them can't run put them, you know. But no, no, the water, them do them bad man. Not in the line, man, they do them bad. What's next for Mario? Where do you see yourself? All right. Um, where am I? Let me see myself now. Is being a great person now after these experiences. Because when I get them experiences that I'm born and going through them experiences you now and survive it, I feel like a survivor, so I know say, tomorrow I'm going to be somebody great, you know? Yeah. All right. Mario, have you received any sort of counseling? Any, have you seen a psychiatrist? Well, yes. Because on, on the journey, it was like a, a, psychology, a psychology journey. So, going from the jail to GP, mm -hmm. I went to GP to do a um, psychology evaluation to see if I was mentally fit and I was past fit. My bail was taken away from me because the judge said that if I didn't get passed, I would not get back the bail. When, I, when the psychology passed me, mm -hmm. then I get back my bail from the judge. Since you've been out, since you've been free, free. have you received so any, any sort of counseling? Well, me from the, the people in the market, the elderly people, but I don't really professional receive counseling. a professional psychology <laughs> counseling. All right, so here in this program, we can provide you with counseling, a psychiatrist, yes, sir. and we can take it from there. So if yeah. you're willing to yeah. accept the help, yes, we can definitely it, provide that. Yes, ma'am, because it is important, you know? Nice. Yeah, Helping you to remember yourself at all times. Right, that is right. Yeah. Well, Mario, before we go, yes. take us out to one of your children. Yeah, man, sure, yes. miss. All right, give us a little something. All right. You don't know the pains I feel, but if you only believe, yeah, a stronger young man could you bear my relief. Painful struggles to fight when God set me free. Better life for every human, and that's my belief. I don't know the pains I feel, but if you only believe. 
A stronger young man could you bear my relief? Painful struggles to fight when God set me free. Better life for every human, and that's my belief. I'm sure from I was born, there must have been a God. The wicked are picking on me, got to fight him but not give up. So far now I'm seeking justice from the court of your majesty. And all that I have wished for, you to find me a better way. Cause you don't know the pains I feel but if you only believe. A stronger young man could you bear my relief? Painful struggles to fight when God set me free. Better life for every human, and that's my belief. You don't know the pains I feel, but if you fully believe, a stronger young man could you bear my relief? Painful struggles to fight when God set me free. Better life for every human. And that's my belief. Yeah. All right, Mario. Nice. Oh, Alex, man, can you see it? Oh, why? 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 Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? I see so many dying. I can hear the children crying. So now I am applying for love and still get styling. Oh, what a situation. Got to stand my occupation. Is the resolution. Yeah, got to fight this revolution. Hurtful are the homeless ones. When there is no accommodation, there is no love in the ghetto troubles in the country towns. Oh why, 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 oh why. Right. Thank no. you, Mario. Mario All right, so. folks, you've heard from Mario Bent. Mario does music. He writes. He loves playing the piano. He does a little producing as well. So producers out there, prepare, pre <laughs> prepare for Mario coming to take over. <laughs> prepare. You, are, you heard it here on top. Thank you again so much for joining us, Mario. You're and welcome, don't yes. be a stranger. It was too hard to find you. I yes. don't want to have to go through that trouble again. No. <laughs> All right, Mario, thanks for joining. All right, You're folks. Welcome. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next time on another episode of Talk. Remember to share, like, subscribe and leave a comment in our comment section. Follow us on Instagram at Talk the Journey Podcast. The link will be in the description. I want to say thanks to Shauna for my beautiful outfit. Shauna is at S's Fabric and Variety Store at 6 West Street, Port Antonio, Portland. And the store is right across from the pedestrian crossing in the town. Can't miss it. Hotel Timbambu, this beautiful venue is courtesy of Hotel Timbambu. They are located at 5 Ely Park Road, Port Antonio, Portland. Special mention to CTC, Graphics, Legal Chambers, Attorneys at Law, and my wonderful production team. We are at talk. Cassidy, my producer, my all around there, my everything. Not to mention Shavar Bailey, my communications manager. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you guys. See you next time on another episode of Talk. Zoom Care Center offers residential and non-residential geriatric and recuperative care. We're focused on improving and maintaining the health and wellness of our clients. Registered with the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we're located at 130 Moonlight Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, Portland, Jamaica, West Indies. Our settings are salubrious with well-trained staff and attention to details. Contact us at 876-913-3247 and 876-368-1493. Email us at bloomcarecenter at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. 
let us help you care for those you care for.